How is it possible that we can have every human comfort available and still feel unable to live a purpose-driven life? When I was in fourth grade, I was the flower girl for the first time ever in my mom's prison chapel wedding. I started to pray, God, make me a vessel for you. God, make me a vessel for you. God, make me a vessel for you. God, what is a vessel? I didn't even know what I was praying. And my heart stopped. And I thought, she's the mom. And she's single. And she's living in low-income housing. And she's still doing a better job than me. Something, for the first time in my life, a voice said to me, stop, go give her money. I handed her the money and she started to cry. And she threw her arms around me and she said, thank you, thank you. I had a high unlike anything I could have ever gotten from any other bad decision in life. I thought to myself, if I could just convince other people what this felt like, they would all want to try it. Kindness would be contagious. I said, this is what I want to write about. I want to write about kindness and how good it feels and I want people to send in their letters and I want them to tell me about a time they were kind and the exhilaration it gave them or a time they received kindness when they needed it most. A massive transformation happened in my life. Instead of praying, Lord, make me your vessel, I said, God, help me to see her the way you see her. Kindness isn't about the person that you're helping, that you gave money to. Kindness is about what it's going to do in your life. I was usually pretty good at breast cancer, but there were those days that I woke up and I felt deflated, I felt uh, depressed, and I don't know what that looks like in you, but in me, that looks like anger. Those were the days that I used kindness as chemotherapy. Those were the days that I went out and intentionally did something I didn't feel like doing because I knew it would reroute my day. Kindness is your avenue out of the pain and into that secret passageway where God is waiting to bless you as you bless others. If you don't see the results of your kindness, Please, know from somebody who's been the recipient of a lot of it, that it matters. Your kindness matters.